Moving on, 18 days after an identified gunman attacked the country home of the spokesperson of the Coalition of United Political Parties, CUPP, Ikenga Imo Guchinyere, the spokesperson, has accused the Imo state government of being behind the attack on its convoy. This came after gunmen attacked Guchinyere's hometown in the Diato North local government area of Imo state. At a World Press Conference today in Abuja, Guchinyere alleged that his personal investigation and evidence left by his attackers proved that the attack was sponsored by the Imo state government, accusing Governor Ope Uzadin Ma of the killing of his uncle chief Daniel Unue Barnafo Ikeagono and all others who died in the attack. On January 14th, we came under heavy terrorist attack, led and coordinated by militias who, from all evidence, were state-sponsored and state-backed with the sole aim of killing me to permanently silence me for making any other exposure on the rigging plan against the 2023 general election. They attacked in broad daylight, firing from all angles and leaving over 500 blade holes on the houses in my country home. Innocent people were killed for no reason. Gentlemen, let me make it categorically clear. I was not attacked by members of IPOP. I was attacked by state-sponsored militia that has semblance with the same team that attacked my convoy on the 23rd of December 2022, which was led by the special advisor to Hope Uzadema on special duties, Mr. China Sanwaneri, who was seated in a white helos van that was used for that attack. It is important that I state this clearly, because Imo under Uzadema is now a society where life is short and brutal. How did all this Ikenga must die agenda start? Sometime in September, I informed the world of the grand manipulation and compromise of the voter register, a plot now popularly called the Muma Magic. Nigerians would like to note that INEC has since removed over 3 million of such fake names inputted into the register. Those of the administration became very uncomfortable with me and they started looking for ways to silence us. Ahead of the February general elections, Ugo Chinyere also appealed to President to immediately demand for the investigation of those who compromise the voter registration process to ensure free, fair and credible elections. Imo is bleeding and it is time to look into what is happening in Imo State. Starting with the investigation of my case, it will show who are truly behind the killings in Imo. Because in Imo today, many bloody activities are covered with the tag of unknown government. I therefore challenge Governor Zodima to bring forward the purported evidence he said were in his possession about the date, time, venue of the meetings I had with IPOP members and ESN and their identity. We have heard how they intend to attack pulling units to take away beavers and use accredited figures to write and upload fake results. We have heard how they intend to attempt to influence posting of criminal elements as ad hoc staff and will expose the names in the coming days. I will have some of them. We hope that Mr. President the National Security Advisor, the Inspector General of Police, and the Director General of the DSS. President Muhammad Ubari and the activities of some politicians, particularly in Kogi State, over plots to cause violence and disrupt the coming elections.